It's important to reflect on what you've done, what was your intention. Be self-critical. See what you can take forward to improve your photographs. Trust your instincts. It's important to stand back, sometimes actually give it a bit of time until you actually edit and select. Standing back allows you to look objectively and less subjectively at what you have done. So I take hundreds of pictures, sometimes thousands of pictures, and I've edited uh, the work that I've made over the last few days down to five. I really like the process of having physical prints and um, you know, putting, putting things down, putting things next to each other, seeing what, seeing what works and what doesn't. So the first picture that I chose was one of the first pictures that I shot. And there was a mirror on the roof which reflected the child walking below. It was a very abstract scene and the colours worked nicely, so definitely a childlike view. It's rare for me that I just take one picture. And so, uh, for instance, here I taken three or four photographs and I can see closely you know what works and what doesn't. Oh, I got a man just walking through wearing a trench coat, trench hat, took it quite low, just an interesting character. It was interesting using the Xiaomi phone. I managed to get lower than I would usually be able to do with my camera and focus. Yeah so I, I like this one, how clean that is. The third picture that I chose was a couple sitting at a train station and the shadow had obscured their faces. The pro mode on the phone enabled me to dial down one, two, three stops. It meant that I could get the exposure that I wanted. This was really a revelation. The picture that I chose next was of a couple hugging each other. I thought it looked quite funny because the hands are sort of coming out from the side of the, the guy. The colours correspond in the picture. It made a reasonably interesting colour photograph. The final photograph was of horses parading through Soho. They stopped at a taxi rank, which made me chuckle. Really focus on the editing. Ask yourself questions. You know, why is it a good picture? Is it the light? Is it the colour? It's not necessarily about the great pictures. It's about what you learn on the way. This is why street photography is a never ending pursuit. I hope you enjoyed my masterclass with the Xiaomi 12 Pro. Hopefully, I'll see you out on the street.